Hello and welcome to the next video in the goal setting series. I'm Devani Alderson. And I'm Leora Alderson. And we're the co-founders of the I Create Daily brand, a movement for creators serious about their art. And we're the co-hosts of the I Create Daily podcast and the co-creators of the 90 Day Goals journal, which the series is about. We are talking about goal setting from the annual goals all the way down to the daily goals and in this uh in this video we're going to be talking about setting your macro 90 day goals in the previous videos we talked about defining your annual goals and so um if you haven't seen those we definitely recommend checking them out links are below and let's get to it before you start let me just mention that one of the reasons we're doing this is because as a part of um, working with our community, our Goals Journal community throughout um, basically the past half a year, um, we discovered that that surprisingly goal setting can be a little bit nebulous, can be a little bit challenging, uh, especially when it is that we are creatives and entrepreneurs with so many ideas and so many things we want to get done. Um, or if you're just getting started on your journey of being a creator in the world and doing your own thing, bringing your art into the world, or even starting your own business, then perhaps it is that you need some, um, you know, some inspiration mm -hmm. to decide what it is that you're most passionate about about in life. So if you don't already know and don't already have the answers to all that, that's exactly why we're doing this series. Is because surprisingly, it isn't necessarily like. A given an automatic thing that most people know yeah and if you're used to having um, a boss or somebody else set your schedule for you um, then it can be hard to figure out how to set it yourself because like obviously idealistically it's it's the dream to create your own lifestyle and do your own work but that can be a challenge if you're not sure like oh, how do I structure my time so this will help with that so we're, we're on the one of the beginning pages of the 90 day journal. If you don't have that, that's all right, but we are on this page and I'm just gonna read it. So how to use this journal? Page two, yeah. Page two. This journal is divided into 90, 30, seven, and one day planning and tracking pages. Here's the breakdown of the process. 90 and 30 day macro goals, the monthly and quarterly goals are your macro goals. Seven and one day micro goals. These steps get sorted into your daily and weekly micro goals. So the 90 day goals, which are quarterly, identify your major goal or goals you want to achieve in 90 days. We call these macro goals. And that's what we're focusing on in this session. So you might want to skip go, down. Yeah. Okay. We're going to skip down a little bit. Um, identifying and setting your goals. Identify your top one to three goals you'd like to have done by the end of this 90 day challenge. This could be one larger goal broken down into monthly steps, or it could be three goals divided into one goal per month. For each quarterly stint, you can vary your focus to suit the goal or goals you want to achieve. Identify the plan, oh, identify and plan your monthly goals needed to accomplish your 90 day goal. So we'll break, we'll get into the monthly bit in the next video. And so. And one of the ways for doing that, remember if you tuned into the previous video on how to decide and how to, the previous two videos actually, on how to decide and how to refine um, and hone in on your actual goals, like for your, for your quarterly goals or annual goals, then you can use that same process for each step along the way. So you can use that same process if you need to for honing in on what your 90 day goals is, not just your annual goals, but your 90 day goals. And then further, you can also use that process for monthly, weekly, and even daily goals. Absolutely. And also sometimes it might be hard to identify what am I gonna focus on for 90 days? But again, like we talked about in the previous video, you can use the same goal identifying steps to flesh out the smaller things you want to focus on. So remember we did the, uh, you might even tune back into the other video and the check mark process of going through that list of the top five and determining what your focuses are going to be. Yeah, definitely. So identify the one to three things. You already said that, right? Yes. And identify and plan your, okay, so let's move on then to the 90 day. So you'll, uh, if you're in the journal, then you'll see this, um, what, what is It'll this? It'll be the sample on page, page here. 
sorry, which one is that? 90 days, page eight, if you're in your journal. Um, and so, yeah, so meanwhile, then there's a sample page that shows you an example from my actual journal. Um, and you can, of course, adapt it to yours. And so, for instance, the last 90 day goal journal goals, uh, my last 90 day goals, rather, was to start a podcast, build a podcast website, and start a tea for screen store. And we did all of that within the 90 day process, in addition to creating this journal, which we didn't even plan and weren't even thinking about when we first started the previous, um, the previous goals challenge, as we called it. So, so that's just an example of um, like three quarter, like three, three months of goals over a quarterly 90 day period and in the journal itself, or, you know, if you're listening to this, then you, the next video, we will break into how to identify the monthly goals. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.